Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today I want to do a video about a nice way to write threads on Twitter. So I made a video about this app uh, f like a year or so ago when it first launched, but they've made some changes since then, and I wanted to kind of recover it because I actually do like it quite a bit. So I've got Twitter pulled up here, and Twitter in the past year or so has added a way to write threads natively, not only on the web, but also in their mobile apps, uh, which is great. So I can kind of write this thread here. Uh, you know, you can add images, tag people, um, and it kind of just works pretty nicely. And I want to add another tweet at the end, hit plus, okay, and I can keep writing. Um, I want to add a tweet in between here, hit plus, now I have a new tweet in the middle. And so it works pretty nice, uh, and for a lot of people it's going to be enough, but uh, there's definitely some limitations here. One limitation is that I can't schedule this for later, so I have to publish it when I write it originally. There's no way to like do a late night thread and then like have it post in the morning, for example. And I can't even save a thread as a draft, so if I hit X, my only options are to discard it or to cancel and keep going. So I have to write it and publish it immediately, there's no scheduling. So. I also have some issues with just focusing on what I'm writing, right? I've got some notifications over here that I am, might be curious what is going on there. I've got trending topics that are just always there to distract you. Like, it's not the ideal writing situation. Um, so there are some apps to try to solve this, and Typefully is one that's really connected with me. So this is what Typefully looks like, and it's a more minimal. This is the exact same thread, by the way, so same text, same images and everything. Um, this is what the writing experience looks like in Typefully. And so it's much cleaner. You can see um, over here, I've used it to do a whole bunch of threads in the past. Um, yeah, I just have done a bunch of these uh, before, and it's just really nice. Um, but yeah, so here's the thread, and you can see basically everything that I was able to do there. I want to add another tweet, hit this button. Or you kind of saw there is a keyboard shortcut for that. I could hit Command Enter. So let me just delete. Command enter, there we go, that works. Or I could do three returns and it interprets that as me wanting to do a new tweet. So I can do that. Um, I can reorder these. So if I wanted to move this up, I can go ahead and just drag it. And now that's up there. I'll do that, kind of keep them in order. I can move this one here. Um, and if I wanted to, I could even hit the three dots and you can just move these. There's even keyboard shortcuts for this. So option down, um, we'll move it down and so yeah. Lots of stuff you can do here. It's just a really nice writing experience. Um, if you want to pull in images, um, I'm not going to do it now because I don't have a file to do it <laughs> easily with, uh, but you just drag them in and they kind of upload here and they're stored on Typefully servers until you send the tweet. So you can kind of see here's the image. Um, they do support alt text to make images more accessible. Um, you can, again, just kind of add files here. You can delete specific tweets from the thread if you'd like. Um, it all works really, really nicely. Now, they do have a focus mode. So if you go into this uh, Command-Shift-F, I'll do. Uh, so Command-Shift-F. This puts me in focus mode, and now it's an even more minimal experience um, for me writing. I'll exit out of there. Uh, and if I want it to look actually more like what it'll actually look on Twitter, I can use this uh, high fidelity one. And now you can see these actually look like tweets. They've really uh, imitated Twitter's kind of interface for showing tweets. And now you can see what these look like. And you can just keep writing in here, right? So this is the next tweet. And I can never just type on camera without a typo. There we go. And if I don't want this, um, let me just go ahead. Oh, shoot. Uh, select all, just so you know. It selects everything in the entire document. But yeah, there we go. Deleted it. Um, and now this looks more like exactly what I'd see on Twitter. Um, so this is all really, really nice. Um, you can kind of do this uh, if you want to add, like, at the end, like, hey, this was written in Typefully. Hit this. P.S. I wrote this thread in Typefully app. Um, I'm just going to undo that. Um, another thing is you can save these as public pages. Uh, so you can share the thread. If I enable sharing um, and give this uh, micro.blog goes non-native, right? Uh, we'll save the title. And I'm going to view this in a new tab, right? And so now they have a page set up on typefully.com uh, that kind of has this thread. And I could just share this. Uh, it has a little slug here at the bottom to follow me on Twitter and to start your own Typefully thread. Um, but yeah, you can do a public page. Uh, you can add an unrolled link to the bottom of the thread, right? So when people get to the end of the thread on Twitter, they can click this and they can see that same page, right? Um, so they would just go to, yeah, um, that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't actually want that in this one. But yeah, that's kind of the experience. Um, and I can tweet it right now or I can schedule it. And so scheduling has some cool options. Um, I could do like in three hours is one recommendation. 
Uh, so if I hit enter, I think, yeah, so that's gonna be three hours from now. Uh, or I could do uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. That's gonna be tomorrow at 10 a.m., right? And so you kind of can do these uh, things and you can schedule it for that time. Uh, again, that's a thing you can't do with Twitter at all. Um, they also have these options for like find best time. So this one looks at your engagement on Twitter when people are responding to your tweets most often, and it'll find the best time to post the thread to try to improve engagement. Um, now this is an upgrade feature. So this is something I can't actually do. Um, but if I click on this, you can see they do have some plans. Um, I actually don't pay for it. I like it a lot. I just don't want to pay for boosting my Twitter engagement. That's just not a thing that I do. I like to engage on Twitter. I like to talk to people on Twitter, but I'm not optimizing for, I'm not growth hacking my Twitter account or anything. So I don't actually pay for this. It's also billed yearly. Um, so it's $96 upfront to, uh, do this, but anyway. There's some more advanced fe or features with scheduling. You can have multiple accounts set up. Uh, you can view some analytics from all accounts. The analytics are really cool. Um, so if I go to the Grow tab here, you'll see this is not <laughs> um, not available to me, but they're showing me one of the uh, creators of the service, uh, showing me their engagement stats. So this is the sort of thing that you'd be able to see um, for your own stuff if you uh, we're using the pro service. I can see a queue of things um, so I could schedule into a specific slot. Um, but again, I can't do that because I don't um, pay for the premium one. But let's go ahead and tweet this actually because um, I do want to see um, how this works. Uh, so let's just say tweet. Uh, you are about to publish a thread with four tweets. Um, and again, auto retweet is an upgraded feature. So you can like uh, just retweet it into your thread. Auto plug. Um, oh, this is... Auto plug is kind of interesting. So if you hit a threshold, so let's say your tweet goes viral, uh, you can add a tweet um, kind of in response saying like, if you like this, check out my SoundCloud or whatever, something like that. Uh, but again, I'm not using this. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and tweet it. Publishing tweet four of four. Uh, there we go. Two are done. Three are done. And they're all done. So I can view the thread on Twitter. Here it is. And yeah, that's really it. So that's uh, what Typefully does. Um, again, what I just showed today is totally free. Uh, I have never paid a penny for Typefully, so you do get some real value out of it um, completely for free without paying a cent. Um, but if you do want to use some of the smart scheduling stuff, uh, if you want to look at some of your Twitter analytics uh, in ways that the official Twitter kind of website, the w official website has, let me I go ahead and discard this they do have this uh where is it analytics page where you can see some information about your um, twitter account apparently my last 28 days are just smashing <laughs> i'm doing great um but you can see some more stats here that are kind of uh, just a little different um to kind of see yeah stuff like this just you're not going to see um in the official app so there's some more stuff there if you want to pay for it i just haven't found the need to pay for it but if you do if you are really serious about twitter and you um would find value in that sort of thing then by all means it's an interesting uh, little thing uh, these are made by the guys who make mail brew uh, which is a kind of newsletter kind of build your own newsletter sort of thing that i really really love i think typefully is doing much better for them so i'm a little worried mailbrew will go away um, but i'll leave a link to what mailbrew is as well um, that's really cool and yeah uh, that's it for me today thank you so much for watching the video